Junkyard Junkie, back here with another video. Today we're going to be working on this 2003 Mazda Protege. We're going to be replacing the rear strut, so let's get into it now. Okay, so first we have to drop these seats. As you look here, you'll see this little thing, you pull it up, bring it down. Same thing on this side, it's right here. Drop both those. Now there should be little push pins right here. Looks like someone's been in here before. And every last one of those is missing. So if you have those, you pull out the center piece and then the whole thing will come out. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is take out this rear brake light. Get you a little pry tool. Pry it up. go there's just two little clasps holding on now before we go too far with it there's a little sensor or not sensor but a plug-in just disconnect that pull it on out okay so next part we're just going to not force it up like crazy but we're just going to lift up right here now pop it out pop it out from there and now this whole section can come forward and we can get access to our struts it's the same on both sides if you look down in here let me get a light okay so to get more access we're going to remove this seat belt it is a 17 millimeter down here for now now if you look in here you got your three you got one here one there and one here these are all 14 millimeter go ahead and break them loose last one Make sure it sits down on it good okay so now we're just going to take the electric ratchet and zip them off so we got one and three so that's all we have to do for the top side now we have to jack it up and take it off from the bottom and then we'll replace it Okay, so these are 21 millimeter. If you don't have an impact gun, you do want to go ahead and break them loose before you jack it up. Okay, so if we look here, we have two bolts. You have to get on one side, that's 17. And then it's 17 on this side, so we'll get a wrench and hold one side and then zip it off. Take those two out. You also have to take out this little metal piece back here. Right back there. We're going to have to take off this sway bar. Okay, so if you look here, they have put an Allen wrench right there. It's a 5 millimeter. This way you can actually turn it without it spinning. 
I'm glad they do that because the ones that don't have that, it's real pain to get off. But you'll just stick it in there. And then with a 14 millimeter ratchet wrench. Okay, so we broke it loose with the ratchet. And we didn't need to use that Allen, but just know if you do, it's a five millimeter. And like I said, just take a, a ratchet and wrench and it'll come on out. We'll just push that to the side. Next, we will work on this back metal piece. It may be hard to see. We want to take a flat blade, put it right there and a hammer and just pop it out. Okay, so all we're going to do is take this screwdriver, put it right there. And as you can see, it's already coming off. There it goes, don't lose it. We'll have to go find that. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. You'll just take your flat blade, hit it right there, knock it off. I'll free up this to come out. You want to go down and out. Just like that. So now that's away from our strut. Now all we have left to do is take these out. Okay, so both these are 17 millimeter. We're going to put a wrench on one side and you can use a ratchet on the other, but we're going to work smarter, not harder and use an impact gun. So there goes one. And there's two. Now we just gotta pop them through. Might have to get a punch. That's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so you don't wanna hit these too hard with a hammer. You'll mushroom it out. So we'll take a punch right in the middle. Okay, now that we got both those out, the whole assembly should just come on out. And there we go. There's a big old spider. Okay, so we have our brand new strut. Go ahead and take the tags off. And it comes with new nuts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold one. We're gonna go ahead and fish it up through here. So we want where those two bolts go towards us. Now we just gotta line it up up there. All right, we got it up in there. Get a nut started. Okay, once you got a nut started, it'll stay up there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these uh, other two, go ahead and thread one on there, and then we'll take the other one and we'll see what size it is because usually it'll be a different size. Okay, so if we look here, it is a 15 millimeter now instead of a 14. So we'll keep this socket out here for when we tighten them down. 
I'm just going to go ahead and put this last one on. Don't cross thread it. Okay, now we have all three on. Okay, so we're going to put it back on the same way we took it off. So, raise this up, push it in. Line it up with this punch. It's actually about to come out there. So we'll go ahead and get this top one started. Push it in. So we'll get these started back on there. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Okay, so you want to go between 63 and 93 foot-pounds. I'm going to go to 77. Okay, so we got the top one. Now we just gotta do the bottom one. All right, we got both those torqued now. So what we want to do now is get this back in here. So just go under and up. As you can see, we got it started. We just got to finish it up. There we go. Now we get our little sway bar link. Probably gonna have to jack it up. Okay, so we reposition the jack so we could use it to pick it up for us. So we're, we're not fighting with it. this stabilizer bar in there it gets torqued down to 35 or 32 to 45 so I'm gonna torque it down to 35 okay so we got that in there okay so once you get that in there we're just gonna put this in here Don't cross thread it. There we go. We'll zip it down with the electric. As soon as it starts to get tight, we stop. Now we just torque it down. Like I said, I'm going to 35.
Okay, now that that's torqued down properly, we're going to torque the inside bolts. Okay, so we're just going to run them down. Okay, so these get torqued down to 34 to 46. So I got mine set for 40. It's one. It's two. That's three. Okay, so we're just gonna take this and put it back on top. So we're just gonna tighten these up. We'll torque it once it's on the ground. So just drop the jack. These get torqued down to 66 to 88. I went ahead and put my torque wrench on 88 and tighten them down real quick. Okay, we still have to get the seat belt retractor back up there. So we're gonna get our screwdriver. Lift up on this just slightly. This will release it. Tighten it down. Okay, so once you got that back in there and torqued, you just want to make sure that it's working. So you pull it out, give it a jerk. Okay, so we're just going to flip this back over. Back up here. Go ahead and find your rear tail light. And we're going to pull that up through here. So we're going to plug that up. It goes right there. To pull this out, all you got to do is press this tab in and pull down. Don't pull by the wires. Okay, so all we're going to do now is reattach it. It's a tight fit back here, so you just got to fill it. I guess you, know, you can look at it like that. So now I come back. Get this back up in there. Snap it back down. Now we're just going to get this rear tail light back in there. There we go. Now we're all back together. Now remember to put these push pins back in. Like I said, this one didn't have it, so it was already there. As for the seat belt, just wiggle it up through here. There you go, get the seat belt back up in here. And now we can just close it up. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.